What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to make some hand cut fettuccine pasta aglio e olio or simply put in some garlicky oil. With the addition of some arugula and some roasted tomatoes, this homemade pasta is simple and delicious. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to get working on is the roasted tomatoes. So quarter up some vine ripe tomatoes, place them onto a sheet pan that has a rack insert and you're gonna simply season these with a generous amount of olive oil, a little fresh picked thyme, a sprinkle of sea salt, and some fresh cracked black pepper. After that, you're gonna put these seasoned tomatoes into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about two hours. All right, so while the tomatoes are roasting away in the oven, it's time to work on the pasta. So start by making a well with your flour. Make sure this is a fairly wide well and that the walls are all intact, otherwise you might have a fun time chasing that egg mixture around your countertop and that is just no fun. Also a good tip when making fresh pasta is that it's always best to use a flour that's high in protein such as bread flour or double zero flour because as you mix the dough, you want it to become more elastic, smooth and supple. And that requires gluten, which is the protein that comes from flour. Most people like their pasta to have a good bite, hence the term al dente. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but once the well is made, add the egg yolks, water, and a pinch of salt to the center and begin swirling it around with a fork. With every swirl, try to bring in just a little bit more flour from the edges without breaking the well wall. But once a thick paste starts to form, you can lose the fork and start adding more flour with your hand until it forms a solid ball of dough. After the dough has been formed, knead it for about five to seven minutes until smooth and firm, and then you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. Once the pasta has rested, you're going to roll it into a long, thin oval or a rectangle uh, just to prep it for your pasta machine. Um, but once that's ready, you're going to start feeding it through the pasta machine on the thickest setting first, then slowly working your way to a thinner setting um, very carefully until you have the thickness that you desire. Alright, so after the pasta sheets are finished, you're going to cut them into long, even rectangles and then stack them, making sure to dust a little bit of bench flour in between each layer to prevent them from sticking. After that, you're going to gently roll up the stacked pasta and thinly slice it with a very sharp knife uh, to your desired width. Once it's cut, dust the pasta with a little bit more bench flour and set it aside until you're ready to cook it. Now that the pasta is finished, I'm going to pull out my tomatoes from the oven and then get a pot of salted boiling water on the stove along with a medium nonstick saute pan that's going to be on high heat. While the water is coming to a boil and the pan is heating up, I'm going to quickly chop up some fresh garlic and some of the oven roasted tomatoes and then I'm going to lightly saute them together in a generous amount of olive oil for about two minutes or so. Alright, so after a few minutes, you're going to turn the heat to low after the initial saute 
and it's time to start cooking your pasta. So make sure that the water is at a rapid boil and then you're gonna to toss in that fresh pasta. Give it a few stirs and let it cook for about two to three minutes depending on how al dente you like your pasta. Also keep in mind that fresh pasta cooks um, you know, much quicker than dry pasta. It's just gonna be a really quick cooking process. Uh, but once it is cooked, you're gonna strain it, toss it with a little bit of olive oil, then into the saucepan it goes for a quick toss with all the ingredients. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of arugula to the mix as well but you can add any kind of green or veggie you want. But once that's done, all there is to do is plate it up, top it with some Parmesan cheese, some fresh herbs, and a drizzle more of olive oil, and it is chow time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the fresh pasta. I love making pasta. I've made it a few times on my channel already, but this is fun. Um, I don't know when the last time I did pasta week, but it's been about a year or so, and I'm excited to get back into it and just try a few different flavor combos and you know maybe some raviolis and some other stuff. So I'm excited to embrace pasta week. I'm gonna dig into this, tell you guys how I did, run through the flavors, and yeah, let me dig in. All right, I love fresh pasta. A little roasted tomato, there you go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I love it, it's so simple like this. I almost, I almost add a little bit of shredded zucchini to this, but I decided not to because I was just being lazy. And that would be a really good addition. This is just a simple pasta. Tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of olive oil. Obviously the tomatoes have a bit more um, richness to them or condensed uh, tomato flavor just because they're roasted and uh, you know it condenses all the sugars in the tomato. So that adds a complexity to the dish but it's really just a very, it's a pretty simple dish. Tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, some herbs, cheese. I use some cheap cheese today too. Usually I'll have some uh, fresh grated Parmesan, but use what you have on hand and uh, you know, what's convenient. But if you wanna make it really fancy, of course you can you know, add all the expensive ingredients or you know, go crazy with it. So really good dish. I'm gonna give it one more go. Give it one more spin. Mm, super simple. Love making pasta, this is a great dish. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up, subscribe at the end of this video, and comment down below for future video requests and things you wanna see on my channel. And I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Later, guys.